I can see that there's a lot of cameras pointed at me. <laughs> so the cameras are basically doing uh, what we call the human behavior understanding AI. Mm -hmm. It covers your face, eye gaze, emotions, body, and hand tracking. Are the hands on the wheel? Are the eyes on the road? Is the body posture indicative of attention or distraction? Uh, how are the emotions? Talk to me about the emotion side. How does that fit in here? Emotions is one of the analytics that we provide. Uh, there are instances where car companies wanted to change the routes of the GPS according to uh, stress levels and mood. <laughs> what, so if you're like finding that the traffic is really annoying you one day, that it might reroute you to a quieter route? It could be longer, but certainly, yeah. <laughs> Let's imagine that um, I am driving a car with this technology running in the background and maybe I'm not a very good driver in the sense that I get angry a lot. Could my car wrap me out to my insurance company? Certainly. So usage-based insurance is also one use case that can leverage the in-cabin sensing data for the benefits of customizing insurance premiums. Does that mean then that if you are a particular type of driver, this will end up making your insurance premiums more expensive? Or less expensive, depending on how you look at it. But yes, that potentially is a use case that insurance companies today are looking at. How you behave over time from multiple sensors and from other types of data.